Hey guys, this is Ashish from Guiding Tech and in today's quick video, I'm going to show you how you can remove the background from any image directly on your Android phone very easily. Now you can remove the background and when you have removed one background, you can also change it using the same app. So well, let's see how it's done. You are watching Guiding Tech. Let's get started. So guys, I'm not going to overload you in this video. I'm not going to talk about five or six apps that you can choose from because we all know you want a direct solution. So well, let's talk about that. So first off, we need to remove the background and the app choice for that will be the background eraser. I mean, what's in the name, right? But then the name itself tells everything about what this app does. The link to that will be in the description box below. So guys, what you can do is you can go ahead and download the app from the description and then come back and see how it works. It's very simple. Yes, it's really very simple. And let's have a look. So once you open up the app and load up the image, all you need to do is start highlighting the areas you want to erase. Now there's a magic mode that will intelligently remove the sections as you touch it, or there's the auto mode that will erase similar color sections based on what you tap. If you'd like a bit more creativity, you can use the manual mode as well, where you can zoom in and fine crop out the selection. Also, if there's a section that was erased, but you want to bring it back, simply tap on the repair tool and edit your photo. So for me, the magic mode works the best, but then if you want to fine tune, you can go ahead with that uh, uh, other tools also. And it's time taking, but then it gets the job done. So once you have removed all the background, just tap on done. You can then smoothen out the edges to give it more natural blend once you place it on another layer. I like to set the smooth option to two or three, but feel free to try out the one that works for you. Now, once you have done that, just tap on save and the app will save the file as a PNG image. Now, once you have saved this image as PNG, there is so much that you can do with it. For starters, you can use it as a sticker on WhatsApp. There are apps available for the same. Moreover, you can add a custom background to it. There are plenty of apps that you can use for this purpose, such as Photoshop Mix, Pixlr, and much more. But in the context of keeping things simple, let's go with Photo Layers, which is also from the same app developer. Now using it is pretty simple too. Just select a background image and then load the PNG file you created as a layer. You can now place it and play around it as you like. And once you are done, just tap on save and that's about it. Pretty cool, right? So with that, guys, we come to an end of this video. If this video was helpful and it was pretty much straightforward for you, please do give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do hit that subscribe button as well. So, well, this is Ashi signing off and I hope to see you in our next video. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.